What this means is that if we're serious about bringing doctors and nurses from abroad, we need something very important – a supportive immigration policy. In other words, we need to roll out the red carpet, if you like, to healthcare workers from abroad. So, what does our red carpet look like? Dolan Bhagawati again. So the Home Office rules essentially are problematic from start to finish, really. And although NHS staff as a whole are in shortage, they aren't really prioritised in any particular way compared to other applications. So often the decisions to give a visa or refuse a visa in a lot of cases are quite arbitrary. And the same situation occurs when people are trying to renew their visas. And people have been refused for very spurious reasons. <laughs> Not so much a red carpet, then. To borrow the words of Douglas Adams, applying for a visa is more a matter of finding a locked filing cabinet that is stuck in a disused lavatory with a sign on the door saying, Beware of the leopard. <laughs> and Dr Bhagawati has had first-hand experience of these immigration challenges. I'm a UK citizen. I was born in this country. My wife is an Indian citizen, and we applied for an extension of her spousal visa. That was declined on the basis that we could continue our marriage in India, despite the fact that I've worked in the NHS for over a decade. She has worked in universities in this country. We were declined. Now, that, that was turned down at appeal. But the problem is that being able to appeal these decisions requires knowledge of the visa process, money and the will not just to say this isn't worth it I'm going to go to another country. This warm British welcome is also extremely expensive. To stay in this country for five years will cost a family of four upwards of 30 to 40,000 pounds. 40,000 pounds just on red tape. 